Grasslands throughout the Great Plains and fire have had a symbiotic relationship since time immemorial. Lightning sparked fires, killing and suppressing the woody vegetation allows plenty of room for the tender new growth that sustains wildlife and domestic herds. Today, prescribed burns carry on the tradition of land management through the use of fire. Knowing how to burn is the key to quality land management. The ignition pattern chosen, pace of the fire, and the timing of the burn are governed by the amount of fuel present, weather, and topography. Backfire. Burning into the wind, backfires have a slow rate of spread, consuming all available fuel. It produces more smoke and burns more completely because of the slower burn. It is the easiest and fastest type of prescribed burn to use. The width of backfire construction is dependent upon the fuel loads and the size of the head fire. Head fire. Burning with the wind, it flames bigger than any other type of fire and gets any smoke up and away quickly. Because it is wind assisted, Care needs to be taken to manage the flames in respect to the burn unit. Strip fire. Burning parallel strips to regulate the intensity of the burn, it is a fast moving top fuel reduction burn prior to fertilizing and over sowing for pasture. Starting with a backfire, every 10 to 15 feet a strip is lit, burning into the backfire and forming a new back for the next strip. The lines compete for oxygen and fuel slowing the advance. Flank fire. Set parallel to the wind direction, the duration, fuel consumption, and temperature are between the head and back fire. Black is built on downwind flanks by laying multiple strip fires, each building against the previous black line. The majority of time and effort is spent on developing flank fires. Spot fire. Small fires, well spaced, that expand and join. Used where control of fire spread and intensity is primary to igniting only the specific burn area safely. Ring fire, a combination of head fire, back fire, and flank fire. By lighting the outside edge of the entire burn unit, the fire burns toward the center of the area. The back fire is the first to be ignited, the flanks are lit, and then the head fire is lit. Ring fire is commonly used in dense vegetation areas. Knowing the types of ignition sets the basis for understanding other aspects of prescribed burns. Polygon burn units. These are areas of black set at angles to catch the head fire. Secondary and tertiary flanks are set to compensate for changes in wind direction and areas of the burn that are not uniform. Burn unit obstacles. Within the area to be burned, buildings, utility poles, blinds, pins, and other non-movable objects must be ringed to prevent destruction. Slowing down a burn. To maintain control of a prescribed burn, it is sometimes necessary to slow the advance of the fire. Spot fires can be lit in advance of the burn line by dripping fire every couple of feet, forcing fire to draw together as it pushes with the wind. In heavy fuel areas, this may be more desirable than a straight line, which creates more of a rushing wall of fire. Stopping fire requires looking for a break in the fuel, like a rocky area or a game trail, and building black against the chosen line while using suppression gear such as blowers and water to hold the fire from advancing with the wind and allowing backing fire to advance toward the head fire. Fighting fire with fire. Prescribed burns promote the restoration of grasslands and rangelands, helping to restore the balance of nature.